Mr. Stevens. Uh, someone, I believe it was Olivia, suggested that we need a sort of like a catchphrase. So I thought maybe uh, since this is sixth grade maths, and I would like to do it in less than six minutes, how about six and six? All right, today, factoring using factor trees and Venn diagrams to find the least common multiple and the greatest common factor. All right, example seven from yesterday's worksheet, 90 and 120, both divisible by 10, they both end in a zero, nine times 10 and 12 times 10. You have to keep breaking down the numbers until you get to prime numbers. Once you get to a prime number, circle it so you know you're done. All right, so 3 times 3 times 5 times 2 is 90. 12 is 6 and 2. 2 is prime. 6 is 3 and 2, both prime numbers. And remember, prime number means it only has two factors, the number and 1, 1 in itself. All right, now the, the tricky part, the Venn diagram. And this really is pretty cool. Once you get the hang of this, it's great. All right, 90 on one side, 120 on the other side. Look for what they have in common. I see that the 90 has a 3 and the 120 has a 3. So I'll put a 3 in the middle. Ah, uh, the 90 has a 5. The 120 has a 5. I'll put a 5 in the middle. The dot means time. I see a 2 on the 90 side and a 2 on the 120 side. And I believe that is it for what they have in common. Guess what that is. 3 times 5 times 2. Well, let's see. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. The greatest common factor of both numbers is 30. All right. Now, a little more complicated. What's left? The 90 has a 3 left. The 120 has a 2 and a 2, so I have to put it twice because there's two of them. Unlike the middle where you can only, only have to put a 1. All right, so 30 times 3 is 90. 2 times 2 is 4. And 90 times 4, well, let's see, 9 times 4 is 36. And 90 times 4 is 360. That is the lowest common number. All right, I don't want to take too much time to reflect on that. Let's go on to this three-way one. These always throw everybody off. 36, 38, and 30. All right, 36, 6 times 6, 3 and 2, 3 and 2. Prime number, done. 48, 6 times 8, 3 and 2, 4 and 2, Two and two, prime number. Done. Thirty six times five, five is prime. Six is three and two. Done. All right. Now, some of you might be able to look at this and say, "Hey, wait a minute. Six goes into all those numbers. I I, I see it right here. And there's a six here, and there's a six here, and there's a six here. So I think the DCF is six. Yeah, maybe it is. Let's check and see for sure." Venn diagram, three-way Venn diagram. All right. What do they have in common? Now, I'm only looking at the prime number. I see a three, a three, and a three. It goes right in the middle, three. Another number they both have in common. A two, 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 two. Notice I'm only writing it once because they all have. All right? Anything else they have in common? Well, let's see, the 30 only has a 5 left, so none of the other ones have a 5. The 48 has some 2s, and so does the 36, but I don't think that's going to help us. So that's it as far as what they all three have in common. So, what's left now? What's left? Oh, before we go on, what's in the middle? Our DCF. It is 6. Easy. 36 has... A three and a two. Forty-eight has a two, a two and a two. And thirty has a five. Somebody said 
because this two and this two, do they go in the middle since they both have them? I don't believe so. We only look in the middle for the things that all three of them have. So three times two is six. Two times two times two is eight. Six times two is six. Six times five is 30. So let's see. 30 times six is 180. And then 180 times eight is... One thousand four hundred and forty. Well, ouch. All right. That's how you do it. This has been six and six. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.